Hi, welcome to another video. So this one's going to give you a brief example of Microelectronica's GSM2 clickboard. I actually purchased it a couple of years ago when I first got the EasyPick version 7. Uh, for those of you who've been following my videos, you'll obviously know I'm on the EasyPick Fusion version 7 now with the colour TFTs. Although you can have a colour TFT on the just a simple easy pick, uh, just a bit slower, that's all. So that's my phone going off in the background, some texts I've been sending earlier. So I bought this phone from Tesco's. Uh, it was on T-Mobile and I chose T-Mobile, which is now part of EE, if I can unlock it. You'll see EE, that was actually T-Mobile. And the reason I chose this phone, apart from the whole phone and SIM was about £20. EE uh, allow you to top up a SIM card for just £5 uh, when the tax and whatever is expired, whereas all the other networks are £10 or more. So hopefully you can see EE. So I would recommend them. Try and get this camera to focus in the dark. Anyway, that's a regular Nokia phone, T Mobile, EE. Got to take out the SIM and put it into this GSM2 click board. As I say, had it a couple of years, not really used it, not not done any videos on it. And what I'll I'll set that up now. So let me uh, see what I can do on the video. Oh, I didn't lock this phone again. How do you lock it? I don't know. I have to be careful not to dial. And anyway, I just found up EEE, topped up the phone. And they said I have to use this phone or this SIM uh, once every two months, otherwise the number will be locked off. And if it, uh, if you still don't use the number, the the number will disappear. You lose your credit or balance, and you have to start again. So that's what happened with me. Didn't use the SIM for texting or anything. It was just in this GSM module went to use it just now and it didn't work so send one text to this every month or so let me get some tweezers send this sim just one text or so every month it will respond as I'll demonstrate uh, and that will keep the phone number active so it's just a regular older old-fashioned sim See so it's T-Mobile because this was must be a year old. Uh, this is Microelectronica's GSM2. You might have already seen it on their site. So you put the uh, SIM in the back. You unlock this, sliding it forward. Forget which way it tips down. Is that locked? Well, I'm down to unlock, so unlock that. Press that in, press it up to lock it. So this sim's got five pound of credit. Each text this board will send is gonna cost 12 pence with this current tariff. As I said, I've not uh, linked into any any deals or bundles or anything. If you want to send hundreds of texts per month, you'd obviously sign up to their package, like a thousand texts a month for ten pounds, something like that. This is five pound credit, and that will last well, it should be years if you send one text a month, or twelve p into every month. You work out how many months or years it will last. Anyway, so that's a GSM two click with the SIM card in. I purchased an aerial, it was actually for another device. This is 10 times longer than it needs to be. This aerial is about two, three pound from Farnell, 11.14. So I'll put that on there. So if you want a microcontroller to turn something on or off, or you want to uh, look at an ADC reading, something like that, very versatile, just get one of these. You might have seen from my earlier experiments. Uh, that's just a 7 inch TFT clock or 7 inch TFT display running a clock picks up the time time and date and everything from the MSF receiver 
which is run by the clock upstairs, transmitted via Bluetooth uh, on one of these Bluetooth devices that picks up the time and then during the day it picks up my solar panel charging current, gives me the current battery voltage and the wattage. And because I've got LED lights scattered around the house with remote control, they're actually dropping to 11.8 volts, something like that. And it's now, well, it's 8 o'clock at night, it's dark here in the UK. And we've got 0 0.003 watts or something, so obviously that's what you're going to have at night time. So that's uh, obviously Bluetooth sending streaming data every minute. Uh, but obviously if you want to turn something on and off just once, look at a signal just once. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering if the British gas hive system, uh, they, they keep on boosting, turn your heating on and off with a mobile phone, maybe that works on a similar setup, but presumably that would cost you a monthly premium because you're going to have to top up this SIM card every month. So actually while that's on there, that's the... So this actually just stops transmitting at 9 o'clock at night. So look, I've got 3 amps, or 3.03, .03, but see the exponent minus 3 on the end, so you put three zeros at the beginning of that. That's current, voltage and wattage, so obviously night time, not charging. If you all know how to run the colour TFT displays, this is running 16-bit. Let's have a look at one of the other videos. But I'm going to go to my old board. Actually, look, the wattage has just come up. Try and get this thing to focus. Doesn't like focusing. You can see 3.6 watts, but exponent minus 2, so 0, 0, 003 watts, 8 o'clock at night. We are in October, so good old faithful Microelectronica's EasyPick version 7 development board. So this GSM2 click, these pins and this form factor defines the click, uh, trade name, trademark of Microelectronica and these boards simply plug into the micro bus of one or two depending on what development board you've got so what I'll do I'll put the sim in there I'm going to simply plug it into the micro bus up here well so that's the GSM2 plugged in uh, the example software from Microelectronica is running a 45k22 but this is actually a 46k22 just larger memory but they're actually virtually identical. So what I'll do, I'll download Microelectronica's sample program and give you a quick demonstration. Sending some messages from this O2 phone. Right, in case you're a beginner, right, this is Microchips Microcontroller. This is a PIC 18F46K22. As I say, Microelectronica use the 45K22. This is just bigger memory. So all we're utilising on this board is a couple of uh, LEDs attached to two ports, uh, I believe port B and D, and a few wires coming up to these pins on the micro bus board. So forget this development board, you could actually get the microcontroller, have a separate programmer, a few wires to this GSM unit, and communicate with something in your home or something at work in the office from you know, miles away or obviously another country wherever you want turn something on and off so as you saw before I took the sim out of this to make sure I had the right number I sent a text to myself saying hello so see hopefully this phone will focus in so I sent a text hello and I replied back with you as you can see with that status question mark and it comes up with info, so it's telling me port B, all those pins, eight pins, telling me all those are high, so all those are one, with the exception of the last pin, and port D, they're all zeros, uh, and port, that's the analog 
channel is zero and that's the end so that has this board here has just sent that text to my regular mobile so what I'll do let's say we want to turn a port on now hopefully if you've had some experience yeah, if you can turn on a port you can turn on anything if you look at my other videos you can either use a solid state relay or a big relay and turn yeah anything on uh, small voltage high voltage means anything so if we go set and capitals R D as you want a big R D let's go for two shall we set R D two so by saying set we're telling it to turn it on so set R D two send Now we'll just wait for that GSM2 module to pick up that signal and hopefully you can see down there, I've turned the lights off, that RD2 down here is on. Maybe I can turn the big lights off. So that's RD2. Now so if I go status again, for example, status, and then question mark. So you might be in another country or out of the house, away from the electronics. You want to know what's what. So we've just turned on RD2. So let's RD0, RD1, RD2. So at the moment it was zero with the last status. We just turned it on here. Now we're going to ask for the status again. So I'll send this message. This is actually a pay as you go. But I've got a thousand texts on that anyway. So wait for the status to come back. So obviously with uh, mobile phones, yeah, GSM, GPRS, you can turn stuff on and off on the other side of the world. So a yeah, message come back within a few seconds and you see port two is on. Uh, so, and the ADC is still reading zero. So let me turn on some lights and show you what else we can do. Right, I'm gonna send this message clear, RD2, and then ask for the status. So we'll see if the LED goes out. Right, the LED's gone out. And is it going to reply back? Got a message, why is it not coming up automatically? There's a status, I figured it would pop up down the bottom. So we had RD2 on. RD2's now off. And I previously set some of these, cleared some of these, but so what we got? Zero, one, two, three, four is off. Well, that analog to digital converter AN0 is actually connected to RB0, which is why that channel defaults to zero. So what I've done, does some homework, had a look at the instructions. And RB0 is actually connected down here. Excuse the uh, length of time this camera's taking a focus. So RB0, there's some pins down here. 
and you can actually tie RB0 to this pot which is uh, across the supply voltage. So I've put this jumper in there. So now, if I go back up to RB0, might be able to see it glowing. And if I find the pot in the dark, hopefully you can see it off and then I can turn it up, full brightness and then turn it down. So if I turn it, so it's just glimmering. So that's now connected to RB0. So now that RB0 is not gonna be one or naught, it's gonna be somewhere in the middle. So if I get this phone, so look at this uh, previous text. Try and zoom back out again. AN naught zero. So now if I send status, capital S, don't forget the question mark, send. So I've connected AN naught uh, with that jumper and turn the pot down. Let's see what the status comes back as. There we go, oh, there, we, there we are, 42. So you can see it's turned right down. It's probably using 10 bit, I would have thought, a 10 bit analog to digital converter. So it's very versatile. So, you know, you can be the other side of the world and turn virtually, or well, 16 minus one, because that's the ADC, turn 15 items on or off. Uh, I read the value on an ADC just with the sample program. Uh, the example from Microelectronica uh, and using Microelectronica's GSM2 click, which is the one I've got here in this example. There are others, but it's just repeating a sort of mobile phone. You can you know, get one of these mobile phone connected to a, a GLCD display and have a mobile phone, but I don't know why you'd want to because you pick a mobile phone up a tenner or less with a SIM card and you still have to go and buy a phone or buy a SIM. So, a quick example of Microelectronica's GSM2 uh, and how you use it. And simple commands, status, set and clear, that sort of stuff. But anyway, just uh, as I say, this is just showing off Microelectronica's example. So, 15 channels plus an ADC, and that's without messing about with the program at all. I don't need to show you the program because you can go to Micro Electronica site and have a look for yourself. So, hopefully, this has given you some insight to uh, you know turning things on and off, looking at the values from the other side of the world. Hope you like the video. Thank you very much.